Hello, thanks for coming back. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you how to name the organic compounds if they have only one functional group. And as I told you in the previous video, I've arranged these according to their reactivity. Now let us take these individual compounds. The first group that may be attached is an alkyl or a benzyl group. We have done this in the previous videos. The alkyl groups we've handled, the methyl, ethyl, propyl, they may be arranged, uh, they may be attached to the parent hydrocarbon. And the parent hydrocarbon, there were a certain set of rules which we followed to name those hydrocarbons, the branching hydrocarbons, which I, you could go to the previous videos and see how that is done. When we name compounds which have got functional groups, we still follow the same rules, but in addition to that, we have the secondary suffix or the secondary prefix to take care of. Now the compounds halides are fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine are halogens which may be attached and the name that is written is a halo. For example, look at this. Butane would be CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. So one of the hydrogens of the butane is replaced by a Br. So it is usually the hydrogens of hydrocarbons which are replaced by these functional groups. And that group now becomes the site of action or function for that compound. So bromine is more reactive than hydrogen. So obviously once bromine is in the compound, that becomes the site of reactivity and hence it's called the functional group. Now, if bromine is attached, the compound becomes Rx. That is, do you see this end here? This means there's an alkyl group attached. So, bromine is attached to butane. So, the compound is named as, the first carbon has bromine on it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. It would be 1 bromobutane. The halides are always written as the secondary prefixes. The next one is the nitro. A nitro compound is NO2. The open end shows that one of the hydrogens of the parent alkane has been replaced by an NO2. This NO2 could be at any position, at any carbon, because it only takes the place of one hydrogen. So, for example, CH3 CH2, 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 NO2, which means this has how many carbon atoms? 3 plus 1, 4 carbon atoms, therefore it's a butane. And at the first carbon atom, we always, according to the lowest sum of locants rule, the lowest locant should always be assigned to the carbon which contains the functional group. So NO2 would be 1 nitro butane. The next one is an ether. Ethers are OR dash. The functional group is OR dash. R I have written only to show you that R was the original alkyl group and the parent hydrocarbon to which OR dash is attached. The R dash is different from R which means that it may be the same alkyl group or it may be a different alkyl group. Remember the parent alkane would always have it since it is OR this becomes this is known as the alkoxy. For example, look at this. This is CH3, CH2, O, CH2, CH3. Now, this could be an alkoxy from this side or an alkoxy from this side because it's actually a bond of oxygen between the two. So, it could be an alkoxy on this side or an alkoxy on that side. According to the longest chain rule, the parent hydrocarbon would be the one which has more number of carbon atoms. So if this was, let us say, a propyl group, then this would have been an ethoxy group and the propane would have been the parent. Since both of these are ethyl groups, so what do we call this? This is ethoxy ethane. Ethoxy ethane. If this was CH2, CH3, 2CH3, this would have been ethoxy propane. I would have considered this to be the parent hydrocarbon and this would have been the functional group. O, CH2, CH3, that is, ethoxy would have been the, uh, would have been the uh, functional group there. After this, these were the functional groups which are always written as prefixes. We now come to carboxylic acid. A carboxylic acid is represented as COOH. 
it is always a terminal group. When we come to these individual ones, I'll be able to explain that when the carpel, which has, which is uh, in the functional group, it is attached. It has already forms four bonds. Then it is always a terminal group. That is C double bond O O H. The structure would be C O O H. And since carbon can form only four bonds, therefore one, two, three, four. It always has to be in the end of a chain. Anyway, when you have a carboxylic acid and it is present as a functional group, it is usually always the last carbon or the first carbon as we would count it. So this has four carbon atoms and the carbon of the COOH is always treated as carbon one. So this is one, two, three, four. It is butanoic acid. The next is a carboxylate ion. The carboxylate ion is always written as O8. For example, look at this COONA. Again, it's somewhat similar to uh, COO is negative and NA is positive, and this is an ionic bond. So, COONA would be known as this is the first carbon, 2, 3, 4. So, this would be known as sodium benzoate. Right? The next is now the sulfonic acid. A sulfonic acid is written as SO3. The formula is SO3H. It is always written as sulfonic acid. For example, in this benzene ring, there is an SO3H attached. Therefore, it is known as benzene sulfonic acid. Then comes the group of compounds called esters. Esters, the functional group is COOR dash. Again, R dash because R may be different from R dash or it may be the same also. R and R dash may be the same or different in the groups. So, esters are a group of compounds which have a general formula RCOOR dash. And if it is written as a prefix, it is written as alkoxy carbonyl, but since we are doing only um, compounds having only one functional group, we'll be only using the suffix. So the suffix for esters is O8. Look at this compound now, CH3, CH2, COOCH3. So COOCH3. This is the methyl group, COO. R dash. So this will be the methyl and this is the parent hydrocarbon. Therefore, it will be called 1, 2, 3. This is the parent hydrocarbon and methyl group is attached to it. So it is methyl propano 8. We now come to acyl halides. Acyl halides are COX, where X represents the fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. And as a suffix, it's written as oil halide. If, it's, if it is chlorine, it is chloride. If it's bromine, it's bromide. So COBR would be, uh, would be oil bromide. Now this is, this, is the, this would be the first carbon, the COCl, the first carbon, two, three, four. So this is butanoyl chloride because it has a chlorine in it. The next class of compounds are amides. The suffix we use is amide and if it was a prefix it would have been carbamyl and it is the group formula is CONH2 and the hydrogens may be substituted with other alkyl groups. So if one hydrogen is substituted by another alkyl group it would form CONHR dash and if both the alkyl groups are substituted it would form CONH uh, sorry CONR dash R double dash or CONR2 or CONHR. The prefix is carbon oil, but if it's a suffix, it's an amide. Now, for example, CONH2 is this, so this forms the, becomes the first carbon, two, three, four. Four carbon atoms, this would be called butanamide. Nitriles are again, if you, uh, as we study further, many of these are terminal groups. But we do them when we uh, deal with them individually further ahead. So the nitrile I told you is a, um, yes, nitriles are written as cyano groups if they are prefixes and nitrile if it's a suffix. For example, you have CN, it's also a terminal group. 
first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon. This would be a butane nitride. These were earlier called cyanides. Now we have aldehydes. Aldehydes are represented by the name al. The formula is CHO. This is also a terminal group. Terminal means it is always present on the last carbon because it has only one free site. Now CH3, CH2 hold twice CHO. So this will be the first carbon, two, three, four. It is butanol. Next class are ketones. Ketones are R, C, O, R dash. As prefixes, they are called oxos and as suffixes, they are known as ohms. Now look at this compound. It has one, two, three, four carbon atoms and it is now when you treat ketones, the entire uh, compound is known as um, the parent hydrocarbon and the own, the position of the own is uh, represented. It is unlike unlike what mm, unlike esters yes where we treat them as two different parts methyl propanoate this entire thing is treated as uh, one compound we will be able to understand this better when we know the detailed structures of these compounds anyway this has four carbon atoms therefore one two three four give us according to lowest sum of locals rule the lowest lower locant would be 2 if we count from this side and if we count from this side it would be 3 therefore this is butan 2 ohm alcohols are as prefixes are written as hydroxy the functional group is oh the suffix is all for example ch3 ch2 ch oh ch3 here one of the hydrogens has been substituted by an oh it is not a terminal group oh